we are going to Rhode Island right by me. Uh, so Abby is a relatively new member, but you may remember uh, her dad, Dr. Ribello, who uh, was actually one of our guests. So Abby, you are up with Megan Riley. Hi, how are you? You are so cool and awesome. <laughs> the question that I had for you was, I know you had said you were like 24 years old when you started to go into franchising the business. So can you speak a little bit to what it's like to be that young in the business world and go through those major changes and be your own boss and kind of speak to that? Yeah, I love that you're here, Abby. This is amazing. And, and I'm glad that you are asking questions too. Um, you know, it's funny, Abby, I never really thought it was it was all I ever knew. And so uh, it, for me, it was always kind of just normal. Now there are many times when I thought, oh my God, they're saying so many things. I don't know what they're talking about. Like people, I would get on the phone with our accountant and I would immediately start sweating because I, I was, had no experience. I had no experience, but I had this business that worked. Um, and so I had a lot of moments of that, that back what I talked about before is feeling like, I don't know if I should be, I don't know that I'm in this I should, I don't know if I'm a grown up yet. Like, do I, should I be here? Should I be doing? So there was a lot of that self doubt. Um, but more than anything, I saw things that worked and I just kept following the things that worked. And so I think back to intuition and gut and what you know and what you see. So as you're going through your career and when you're young, it doesn't matter how old you are, it matters how you show up, it matters how you follow through, it matters what you do. Your age doesn't matter. And, um, and I just, I didn't. I didn't know all of this until I kind of could look back. And the reason I was successful at a young age was because I always showed up. I always followed through. I was always taking action. And, um, and that was like, it just works. No one's gonna, you're never gonna find somebody to be like, you need to talk trash about people. You need to sleep in, be lazy. Don't write your goals down. Don't think about what you want your future to look like. Like we all know what works, but it's actually executing. It. No matter what age you are, when you start to actually execute on those things, results follow. Um, a lot of results just are inevitable if you show up. And so by you doing things like this, Abby, networking with people, getting around, I wish I would have done that at your age. I didn't have a network of people at your age. I was like kind of blindly going in with a machete through this forest. And there was all these beaten paths I didn't even know about. Um, so continuing to put yourselves, uh, yourself in positions like this, where you're talking to other people is huge. Um, but there was a lot of self-doubt. There was a lot of cluelessness. And there was a lot of action. And that's honestly what happened for like the first five years of my career. Thank you so Megan, much. Megan, how do you decide who to align